Hello everyone, this is Noah Smith, and one of my subscribers asked me to make a tutorial on how, on, on this, on pretty much the spine, how I make it under the track on my most recent roller coasters. And so it's very simple. You start out with orange rods, red connectors, yellow connectors, and black rods. And this is something else. But, uh, these act, so this, this design is not mine, but it's, it's designed to mimic or act, kind of act like the cross ties, or it's, these are supposedly the flexi rods in normal, in a normal, uh, classic connects track with tubing. So these are these, the flexi rods. And they are actually pretty flexible because they're micro and these would be the bottom of the cross tie middle top and it connects to the track so I'm gonna build you one track length of micro uh, tubing pretty much so yeah it's kinda like this and you just keep going How do you keep extending it without using those purple connectors? Well, so basically what I do is I just take these last two right here and if you look at these these grooves right here right there I add orange rods both of them. I'm just adding flexi rods. I think this same strategy works for cross ties. You can do it, I think. And now I have this, oops. Dang it, okay. So now I have this, these flexi rods. And basically I just keep adding it. Keep adding this. Oops, that's not connected. And now it's like it's like that instead. And now I have this. Well, I'll, add, I'll make it a little longer. Or, you know what, I don't have to, but you can just continue. Add this on right there for both sides and just keep building it further and just keep making more track. So now I have this very, very stable, kind of firm track, unlike norm normal micro track by itself. So now I have this, and it can be bent with some, some maneuvering. And sometimes these little rods snap. It's best to build the, I think it's best to build the the spine to what to the to the shape of the track that you're gonna make it. So like if you're gonna make a loop, I'd first make the loop with the track and then add add the spine on. But anyways, yeah, so here it is. However, sometimes you may want even more support. And basically what I sometimes do is here, there, let's, can you see? So see these little, these, this middle rung right there? You can see all the way through there. So I just, I simply just stick one of these through and just keep extending it down. And even on bent track, or bent on a bent spine. This helps a lot just to fortify it. And you can do it to these lone ones out here that don't have two on them. And it fortifies it. And then further you can even add more stuff on the side like this. And it still bends and it still works. And it 
I highly recommend it if you're going to be making a realistic coaster. And yeah, well thank you for watching and spending your time to watch this video. It's and I'd highly recommend using the spine. Thanks. See you guys.